Hey guys, this is Mary Taylor Dade. I was not expecting to come on here this week, but as I was out and about, the Lord kind of gave me a vision, and so he wanted me to come in here and share this with you guys. Um, I saw a bunch of you, and you were standing like right before you got to your promised land, like the, the, what you've been praying for, what you've been declaring and decreeing for. You were literally standing right before it, and then all of a sudden I see these gnats everywhere, and you're shooing them with your hands, and they're distractions. And so I don't know who, what, the situation is that's the distraction that's coming at you right now, whether it's not seeing your promise, something trying to get you not to believe in your promise, something getting you to take your eyes off the promise, whatever it is, the Lord is really highlighting that you need to keep declaring and decreeing your promise right now. Because the little nets that have been sent to you have been little distractions to detour you and detour you in restoration and in believing for restoration in everything that you are asking God for in your life. So to encourage you guys, really stand strong this season and trust God to be God because God is going to do something for you that no man can take credit for. He doesn't want your pastor to take credit for it. He doesn't want your friend to take credit for it. He doesn't want that person to take credit for it. He wants to be the one to get the glory for what he's going to do in your life. So in order for that to happen, it has to look like something impossible. It has to look like something broken. It has to look like something that's dead, right? So we have to really stay strong this season because if you think about it, what are gnats? They can't hurt you, they can't bite you, but gnats are irritating, right? They're annoying, they're irritating. They're like, ugh, get out of my way. They're irritating, but that's all they do. So do they have any authority to keep you from walking through the gnats? Is it, do, do they have any authority in keeping you from focusing your eyes on the promise that God is promising you? No, they have no authority, nothing. They are literally sent to distract you, to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to steal your, um, honestly, your mentality, your freedom, right? Your freedom to believe that I'm going to walk in faith. I'm going to trust God no matter what. And even though it looks grim around me, it takes faith to believe, right? We have to understand what is faith? Honestly, what is faith? We believe it before we receive it. Okay. We have to believe it to receive it. And then we get to see it. We never see it first. We have to believe that it's going to happen to receive the promise of it happening. And then we get to see the manifestation of it happening. So if we're not believing in the promise that God has told us, we can't receive what we're believing, right? So the first step is believing. God, I believe in you. I believe in what you're telling me. I believe in your promise. I believe in your truth. I believe in your love. I believe in you, right? If we believe it, then we get to receive it. So then it's, thank you, God. I receive your blessing. I receive your promise. I receive everything that you have for me in my life. I receive it. Once we believe it, once we receive it, then we get to see it, but we don't see it as soon as we receive it. Okay. God told me, I'm going to do something for your life that no man can take credit for three years ago. Okay. Don't get caught up on times. Okay. God's timing is different. Okay. But three years ago, he told me that. And then he told me he was going to restore my marriage a year ago. Mind you a year and a half ago. No, two, almost two years ago, I was married to somebody else. I had bit that carrot. I had got distracted. I had figured divorce. I need to move on with my life. There's no way God can do this. I didn't know what standing was. I didn't know what restoration was. I kept moving on with my life. And after seven months of being married to the wrong person, then literally God's like, I'm restoring your marriage this season. Restoration is coming. You gave up on my plan for your life. And literally within three months, <laughs> he had shifted everything. What happened? I believed it, right? He said it to me. I'm restoring your marriage. I believed it. Then I received it. And before I saw it, I had to walk out the manifestation of declaring and decreeing and believing that I was receiving what God had promised me before I saw it manifest in front of me. And now my husband and I are restored 
It is absolutely incredible what God is doing in our marriage and in our family and in our ministry. We now have a lot of couples that are coming to us that are now also walking in restoration. So we will start doing videos on that as well because that's going to be most of our main ministry is we're teaching people how to stand in, in restoration, but really get ready to walk in restoration because that's the one thing the Lord put on my heart is that that's why we, you know, he told us to call it kingdom blueprint because when you are walking in restoration, restoration is messy. If you don't know the strategies and you don't see that, okay, this is restoration, even though it doesn't look like restoration, and if God is telling you it's restoration, it's believing it, right? But it's the fact that when he told me restoration in my marriage was here, it did not look like that. It looked like the opposite. And that's when he taught me, you need to declare and decree for it to manifest in heaven on earth. Because I've already given it to you. It's yours. You need to take it. So in order to take it, we have to believe it, right? Believe it, receive it, then we see it. So to encourage you guys, Understand that if God is promising you something, you have to stand on that promise until you see it. Because it's not going to change. Until you believe it, you can't receive it. And until you receive it, you can't see it. And once you see it, it's exciting. But it's understanding that several of you, and I, I feel this strongly, several of you are actually in restoration now. You just don't see it. And that's the point of Lord. I've actually been told that. You have told that to me. But I don't see it. Okay, that doesn't mean that you don't have it. That doesn't mean you haven't received it. It means you haven't seen it. So what do we need to do? If he has told you you have restoration, then you need to believe it. So you keep living your life, believing it's happened, and keep declaring and decreeing for the Red Sea to part. Declare and decree to part the Red Sea. Whatever is in front of you, you need to trust God and declare and decree that it's going to shift, that it's going to change, that restoration is coming, that nothing can stop it from coming because that is the God we serve. But it really is a faith walk, guys. I'm telling you because faith is almost like an invisible stairway. After you take a step, a step appears. When you take a step of faith, a step appears. When you take another step of faith, a step appears. But if you don't have the faith to believe that God will give it to you, you're not going to see that stairway. As you trust God and you believe him for what he's promising you, you will see that invisible stairway appear. And then as you walk up, man... The floodgates of heaven will open over you, but it's about faith and it's about trusting him. So will you trust him despite what you see? It's not ever about what you see. It's about what you believe. That is faith, guys. Faith is the opposite of the world. We are not going to see it first before we receive it. It is about believing it to activate the manifestation of seeing it on earth. Amen. So have an amazing day. I hope this encourages you. Whatever those gnats are that are trying to distract you, man, shut their mouths in Jesus' name. They have no authority. They're not God. They can't stop you from what God is giving you and what God is doing for you in your life. I don't care if it's the other situation, the other person. I don't care what the situation is. Our God is bigger. Our God is greater. And our victory is ours. We just have to believe it. Amen? I hope you guys have a great day. I also, am, um, it's so crazy how the Lord is just absolutely opening the doors for us left and right. I also help with trauma with children. My degree is in child development and psychology. So I also help with, you know, we do premarital counseling. We do uh, walking and restoration counseling. If you've, God has told you that you and your husband, if he has just come home or your spouse has just come home and they're like, listen, I'm home and you have no idea what that looks like. We offer programs for that. The Lord's given us specific strategies for how we got what restoration. And so it's exciting to be able to share this with you guys. Um, we are doing our Q&A session. We have not forgotten that. We have like 48 comments and questions. <laughs> so we're getting them all together. And once we do our Q&A session, I will post it on uh, YouTube for you guys to watch. We do have a website that is in the making and it's exciting. God is just opening doors, but we are here for you. We are supporting you. We are praying for you. We are standing with you. God is a good father, guys. He does not let us down. We have to trust him even if we don't see it because that is the opposite of faith. We have to believe it first. Amen. If you'd like to get a hold of me, we also offer um, mentoring sessions. We do private sessions, group packages, all sorts of stuff. So whatever we can help you with, um, we are here to serve you and we are just honored that so many of you watch our videos and I am, I am honored, truly I am honored 
to be a, a hollow vessel for the Lord to use, to speak through, to get you guys to see how good he is. And I am truly honored that you guys um, are encouraged by our videos. And we truly just want everybody to walk in restoration. We truly want everybody to live kingdom. That is, that is kingdom blueprint, right? We want to help you get the blueprint so you can live your own kingdom life. Amen. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll be on soon. Bye.